TF2 players, this is a video that may change the entire view of the world of TF2. We're going to cover the hands of the secret TF2 member, the one that is the most secretive and that no one knows about. Probably for a good reason, because he is the spy. Exactly. You may remember a video of mine talking about how uh, in 2-4 there was a little easter egg there. And uh, a couple of people knew it, but no one went in depth the way I'm about to go to and no one showed up the points that I have uh, kind of elaborated on and thought about and done some research on. And today, this is actually going to be pretty amazing and it could uncover certain things that Valve's going to release recently. Or in the near future at least. Anyway, so, into that one secret and classified file in 2 for it that classified file into that secret file there was actually something that I think I uncovered and I think I know what's in there it is the one next to the classified file there's something that says do not open until and something else is written on it but it's kinda smudged out and uh... well I think I know what's written on it let's start with the proof on how I'm gonna give it to you guys let me explain why this is my theory alright I think the spy wrote this document Alright, and it contains the secret of the spy and what he knows and certain things that are crucial to the blue team, his fellow teammates, because it is in the blue base. And let me tell you why that is. A spy is a person that knows so much intelligence of secrets and both teams, so he would obviously have like something that's very crucial and something that could very well change a w course of action or anything like that, because a spy is someone that, especially in this game, he could disguise himself with the enemies and learn in like infinite amount of information. So, since he sneaks amongst their ranks and, you know, gets information from them, he knows everything about Team Blue and Team Red. But if all this information is there, why don't they open it? Why don't they ever open this thing? Well, because it says, it says one thing, do not open until, and that last word right there, if you guys probably made it out, some of you already guessed it, it's F-U-T-U-R. What do the words mean in English? They don't mean anything. But the spy, as we know, is French. And as a fellow Frenchman, it would be my duty to let you know that F-U-T-U-R in French means future. So that means don't open until the future. But when? When is this sign that the spy is going to let us know that we should open it at that moment? And that is, but that we will go into later because now we know that this spy has written this document, or at least the spy has written over it. That's we know for sure because no one else seems to be French as far as we've seen across the entire team. So, if we continue on, now that we've kind of elaborated that, uh, if we go on to meet the medic, you know when he's laughing around with the heavy and then he opens up to get the baboon heart, on the right there is a head. Whose head is that? There's the head of the blue spy. You can tell because it is a blue mask and all. And what does the spy say? The spy says two words, alright, and then the medic replies. Now, we don't know the chronological order, they were, these videos were re released in like different orders, not maybe not exactly the chronological order of the events that happened, but since we don't know that, we're going to take that out of the equation and just think about something else, alright? And try to not pretty much have that block us, but let's start with meet the medic, alright? So in there, this spy says two words to the red medic, he says, kill me, and the medic says, later. So obviously we obviously thought of it as a joke at first, the medic, you know, being kind of the crazy German that he is and amputating and shit like that on the heavy. Pretty sure it was German from his accent. I don't want anyone to think that I'm a professional German either. I just know how to speak French, alright, so you don't gotta get all angry about it. Anyway. So yeah, we thought it was kind of a joke and but what if there was more to it? What if there was more behind it? So, if we go back to Meet the Spy, what was the last thing that happened, or at least one of the last things, to the blue spy? The exact last moment the blue spy was when the soldier shot him. And if you guys remember correctly, how did the soldier shoot him? Well, the soldier shot him in the neck, you see the blood gushing out of his neck, and his head clean off. At least it would appear, because you see it perfectly cut, you know, nothing hitting the chest and stuff. And you shot him with a shotgun from close range, so it could really decapitate him. Well, what if I told you that now that they killed him and the red spy got in, he got the intelligence, and the medic came in, got the head of the blue spy, put him in there to interrogate him, and now the team is left without their blue spy. And what did they do without his intelligence? That's why he wrote it down in those documents and told them to open it until the future. So the future reveals that when the blue spy is dead, they should open the documents, or at least when he is kidnapped, because now they torture him and try to get his information, and as long as he knows that his team has the better information and the correct information, we should be good from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed, because I'll explain this again in one second. I really just do the hope that you guys enjoyed, because I did put a lot more, uh, you know, research and all into this. 
And obviously the French part wasn't too hard because I speak French, but you know what I mean. You guys know that I went to, you know, check the dates and also all those dates were corresponding to dates of releases and patches. So obviously someone was trying to get to something. And open until future means the future written by the spy. The spy's information is theirs. So now the team has the information of the spy, the most crucial part, and the most intellectual person on the team. There is that for you guys. All right. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description for uh, Twitter and all the stuff like that. And if you guys can really leave me a comment, tell me what you thought of this video. And also uh, maybe subscribe because I really appreciate it. I'm releasing new videos sort of like this, all right? And I would appreciate if you guys, you know, check those out as well. So subscribing would definitely help. Leaving a like would also let me know that you guys like this video. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this DFS Gaming. Don't forget to check out the outro card. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Alright guys, you guys have some annotations if you guys want to click all the links and stuff on the screen right now. Some of it will be in the description below and you guys can check out more about the videos and more about my channel. Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Previous video and playlists and subscribing and all that stuff is on right now so you guys can check that out. Bye!